All right, so playing slide and standard tuning is is something uh, I learned how to do out of necessity. Uh, <laughs> I used to have a couple guitars for slide when I was a kid in Milwaukee, uh, back when I had a, a car uh, and I uh, was able to drive to every gig and all that stuff. Uh, and of course, when I moved to New York City, uh, that all went out the window and I was in a five floor walk up. So I uh, just out of necessity of having to go up and down those stairs, uh, just started taking one guitar to gigs. And uh, that's basically how I learned to play side and standard all the time. Before that, I was playing mostly in open G and A, uh, which I'll also be demonstrating some today. But when you're playing slide and standard, um, you know, basically, and I'd encourage everyone to check out the first volume of this series for, for more on this, because I've, I've done a lot on this. Uh, but as a brief sort of overview, I like to think of everything in terms of triads. So we're here in the key of G, and you got, you got this triad right here at the 12th fret. And that's basically kind of your home plate for most of the typical slide riffs you know. Um, but I do you know, think about two different scales right there. Basically, it's the dominant or the blues scale. So, you know, you've got like... Uh, that's a way to move through three different positions of G minor pentatonic, is just play a scale like that with the slide. And then you have the major scale that's in there. And you could do that by isolating it a little bit. And I'm skipping the major seventh. Um, maybe you want to think of it as like a mixolydian or something, you know. To give it that dominant blues sound. So that's your basic area, uh, or at least the basic area that where I gravitate towards whenever I'm playing slide and standard in the key of G over a blues like this song. Um, but then we also have the first position. And, um, you know, you got, um, you can really mimic that open G style this way that I really associate with, like, of course, Lil George, Ry Cooter, um, Bonnie Raitt, people like that. You get this kind of sound. <laughs> And again, here we are with the, the minor pentatonic in G. And we're just isolating the minor third here. And kind of slowly moving it up to a major third. Then open. Then we slide into the same note. And sometimes you can sneak in other open notes. So that's a whole nother world kind of down there. And then, of course, you have the extended pentatonic there. And then we have way up the neck when you get into this sort of 15th fret area. And then we can go up from there. So again, here's that minor pentatonic. Same as the third fret, but way up here. The major third, and you can just move up fourth, flatted fifth, fifth. If you want to stick some of these, stick some of those notes even over the pickup, you can get that happening. But and then something I do on this song in particular, and I do this as sort of like a motif on the record um, when I'm improvising on this is. I end on the six a lot, uh, which is would be E in the key of G. So I do stuff like, or up here, or like this. That's a really cool note to end on. It. I've, I've found that that's a doing a phrase like that. It's less conventional. And then finally, something I did a lot again on the studio recording of this song and uh, tried to do in my sort of improvisation uh, that I did just now is the flatted fifth and playing the flatted fifth as if it's like a bent note on the harmonica is how I like to think of it. Kind of like when someone like Little Walter would bend the fifth, you know? So there we have the fifth 
D flat and fifth. And I kind of, I'll do a rake with the pick to kind of imitate the sound of like, you know, when you hear like someone like little Walter or Sonny Boy Williamson, but particularly little Walter or maybe even James Cotton or Junior Wells when they have the, the bullet mic that's plugged into an old Fender amp. And I used to play with guys when I was a kid from Chicago who did this uh, a really notable guy who I used to go see all the time was this guy Jim Leiben, who's still out there playing, who, who does this stuff amazing. But um, So that flatted fifth. So basically, I'm kind of teasing the flatted fifth. And then I resolve minor third, major third, chord. And there's a lot of variations in there. And you can really, you know, I'd encourage you to really, I always say like a lot of times, especially these days, because there's so many incredible virtuoso slide guitar players out there. It's like a, it's, it's like a renaissance in slide guitar right now. Um, I'd encourage everyone to remember that you're playing with a slide. <laughs> so don't forget to slide. And don't forget to milk some notes. Um, you know, I, I tend to play too many notes when I play slide a lot of the time because uh, I'm forgetting that principle myself. So I'd encourage anyone out there to do the same. As so that's a really important part of, of playing this as well. And I, I say this over and over again in my head every day, and I'd encourage any musician to do this as less is more. Um, and uh, particularly when you're playing slide, you can really get some really um, unique vocal type tone and, and, and vibrato, and, um, and, and it allows you access to these in-between notes, like the thing I was doing with the flatted fifth that you just can't do fingerstyle.